Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome once again to Church Online on another beautiful Wednesday evening. It's been a warm one today, but nonetheless, it's a great day. Just want to welcome you. I want to share just a, a real quick announcement in relation to this Sunday. This Sunday, you don't want to miss it. It's going to be our first annual chili cook-off. And we've got, I think it's like 13, 14, maybe 15 participants. And so you just don't want to miss it. I think we're going to be enjoying a great, great lunch. And listen to this. Even I have a pot that's coming so I'm jumping into the fray as well. But come and enjoy it. We're going to have really a fun time together. It's also with football season all starting and everything. It's also wear your favorite team jersey Sunday. So if you're a Dodger, Rams fan, uh, Lakers, you know, wear your jersey. On Sunday we're going to have really a great time and invite a friend to come. So do everything you can to come and join us and be a part. Well, this evening, I want to just share on, on this question. Can you really, really trust God? Think about that for a minute. Can you really trust God? I want to share a passage of scripture that has been a favorite of mine for many, many, many years. And uh, I memorized it really as a young boy. It's Proverbs chapter 3, 5, and 6. It says, Trust in the Lord. With all your heart, lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. Now, for, for most of us, the reason why we don't trust God really fully with all of our hearts, with all of our lives, is because I think there's a lot of folks that just really don't know the Lord. And as a result of that, you just don't trust Him. I mean, how many people that you don't know, do you put your full trust in? You know, Sammy, our son, our oldest son, is looking for a vehicle right now. And it's going to be a used vehicle. He wants to get one several years old. And so, you know, you, you go on to Craigslist or some of these ads for vehicles, and these are people who are selling these vehicles that are not brand new. And so you don't know them. You know, when I speak to them or I talk to somebody when I'm looking for a vehicle, you know, I've got to be honest, I don't have a ton of trust in them. They might tell me, oh, it's a great vehicle. We've never had a problem with it. You know, and they go on and on and on. But yet, because you don't know them, you just can't put your full trust in what they're saying. And again, it's because you don't know them. You don't know what their record is. You don't know what their character is like. And so as a result of that, there's no trust. There's just a huge lack of trust. <coughs> Excuse me. And so the same is true with God. Uh, and that's why God wants you to know Him. That's why God wants me to know Him, to really know Him, our, his, his personality, His character, His nature, who He is. He wants us to know who He is. Now, there are a lot of, of stories out there and there are a lot of myths that are out there about who God is. Our culture has defined Him as something that He is far from. You know, one of the things that people will think is that God is this, uh, like a, a cosmic policeman who's just looking from heaven above, waiting for you to make the wrong move so He could just pounce on you. And so they look at God is a very angry, unsympathetic, uh, ungracious God. And so there's that, you know, there's not all that trust there or confidence in him. Then, then some people will look at him like, well, he's just a nice, he's just a nice old man like Santa Claus. He just, he'll give you whatever you want. He's not going to, there's no justice there. Whatever will be, will be kind of a thing. And then there's some people who will look at him as, as, you know, very antiquated. Uh, how can he have anything to do with, with our world, our culture, so different from the earlier days, and yet God is the one who created everything that is. And then some will look at him as, as a force, you know, not as a person like he is, but as a, as a force, kind of like Star Wars. You know, the force, and the force be with you kind of a thing. And they look at him in that way. Now, if I thought 
that God was like any of those there, uh, any of those popular misconceptions. I don't know, I'm not sure I would have all that much trust in him either. You know, but the Bible paints an entirely different picture about who God is and the character of God and his, his values, his nature, who he is. Um, and the truth is, God is really, he is infinitely, infinitely worthy of your trust because no being in the universe is as capable of influencing my world and your world and the world around us like like God. Um, and the Bible says this here. Surely in, in Psalm chapter uh, or Psalm 54 verse 4 it says, Surely God is my help. What a, what a wonderful passage. Surely God is my help. He's your help. The Lord is the one who sustains me. He's the one that, that keeps us on, on track. God has the power and the desire, it's his desire, to sustain and to help you through whatever you might be going through this evening. He wants to help you through it. And if there's anybody that's capable of helping you and helping me through whatever our circumstance is, God is. He has all the resources of heaven available to him, and he wants to help us. He want, all we have to do is ask. We have not, the Bible says, because we ask not. And so tonight, let's ask him. Let's ask him. He wants to meet your need. He wants to help you through your circumstance and through your situation. But we've got to ask him. We've got to ask him in prayer. Um, but these are some of the keys. The key. Yeah, in fact, there are keys, but as there, is the, there is the key that you've got to learn uh, that's so important in, in trusting him. And it comes in that passage of scripture, trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways. Acknowledge him, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. You can trust God with everything you are. You can trust God to help you in any situation that you're in. He'll help you. Uh, it doesn't mean that God is going to, you know, suddenly put you in this mansion and give you millions of dollars. I mean, may, but I mean, uh, but you can count on this, that you will have peace and uh, an assurance that he is with you, a clear conscience. You'll have joy. You'll have healthy relationships when we put our trust in the Lord. Trust in him. Now, let me ask you a couple of questions as we close our time tonight. Which of these which of these misconceptions that we've gone over tonight about God do you think is the most common in the culture that we live in today? Think about that for, for a minute. Another question, you know, how would, how would someone's life change if they really knew God and who he is? They knew his character. They knew his nature, what he is like. Um, how would it change someone's life? Perhaps somebody you know. Um, and then the last question, we we'll close with this here tonight. What's the one area of your life where you need to begin to fully trust God? 100% fully trust Him. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, the Bible says. Lean not to your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. Lord, we thank you for being with us tonight. We thank you for your word. We thank you for this passage of scripture that we find in Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6, Lord. And we just pray that, Lord, as we read your word, that we'll come to know you in a way like never before. And knowing you, who you are, Lord, when we do know you, we have no problem putting our trust in you because of who you are. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for forgiving us. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your faithfulness, Lord. And now I just pray that you would give our dear friends a good night's rest and a great rest of the, the, uh, uh, of the week and bring us back together Sunday to worship and praise you, Lord, for who you are. We pray these things in the wonderful 
matchless name of Jesus. And everyone said, Amen, and Amen, and Amen. God bless you, everyone.